Okay, so in today's lesson, uh, we're going to learn how to play uh, rhythm study number one. So you're going to need your LCM uh, step one uh, handbook and we're going to open up to page 10. And we're look as I've said, we're looking at rhythm study number one. So that is at the top uh, of page 10. Now you've already practiced the G major chord and the A minor chord. And you've also learnt um, that you need to strum each uh, chord four times. Okay, we talked about how our strum pattern uses four crotchets or it's going to be four strums all lasting one beat eight. So just to remind you of that, if I was to play the first two bars of this rhythm study, I start off on G, okay, and I go like this. One, two, three. Four, and then I change to A minor. One, two, three, four. The reason that we're doing four strums per bar is because the piece is written in four four. You see the two fours at the start of the rhythm study. So we have four counts or four beats in each bar. If you're not sure how to play any of the chords, then go back and take a look at some of our previous tutorial videos and then you can come back uh, to this video and have a go. So let's start off, um, we're gonna start off the very first chord in bar number one is a G chord. And as I've said, we're going to strum this four times. Remember, for all of the chords, you're strumming the bottom three strings and you want to pretend either your thumb or your pick is a brush and you don't want to strum too slowly or too quickly. The, the pace that you want to strum is like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, all the strings need to be strummed or played together. Try not to play like this. Try not to play each string individually like that. You want to try and do a, a nice strum where all the strings are played at the same time. So let's start off, we play our G chord. Okay, we're gonna play it four times. So let's count in, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Then move to your A minor chord. You'll see that's in the second bar, or the second little box in our rhythm study. And we do the same, one, two, three, four. Then we move, then we need to change to a C chord, but our first finger is already in the correct place. So all you need to do is take your second finger off, keep your first finger down, and hey presto, that's our C chord ready to go. So we play that. One, two, three, four. And then we play another C. One, two, three, four. Then we play our E minor chord. That's the chord that we don't need to hold down any finger. So just lift your first finger off. Okay, keep your hand here just to balance your guitar. And we're gonna play our E minor. One, two, three, four. Then back to C. So first finger goes back down again. One, two, three, four. Then E minor. Again, one, two, three, four, then back to C, one, two, three, four. When you play that last C chord, you'll see that beside that we have two lines, a thick line, a thin line, and then two dots. That little symbol, those lines and dots are telling us to repeat. So what that means is we then just go back to the start so we go back to our G and we play this through one more time. So let's try and do that. Okay, so back to G. One, two, three, four. Then A minor. One, two, three, four. C. One, two, three, four. C again. One, two, three, four. E minor. One, two, three. Four, then C, one, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, three, four, then back to C, one, two, three, four. Now we don't need to repeat 
that again we're just going to finish off with a G chord you'll see that there's a G at the very very end and this is very important to remember with this very last G chord you only need to strum once okay so you just do one strum uh, to finish off now you'll notice as we were practicing that we were taking our time between changing chords there's a little bit of a gap between our chord changes but what you want to work on and it'll take time it's not going to happen um overnight it might it'll take you um quite a a while to get good at this that you want to be able to move between the chords nice and smoothly uh, with little hesitation or no gap at all so i'm going to play this rhythm study uh, just as you would be trying to play it if you were um trying to play it really well or even playing it uh, in in your exam okay so let's start off i'm going to count myself in so i start off with uh, let's count in one two three four and one two three four a minor one two three four c one two three four c one two three four e minor one two three four c one two three four e minor And repeat one, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, four, C, one, two, three, four, C, one, two, three, four, E minor, one, two, three, four, C, one, two, three, four, E minor. C, one, two, three, four, and then one last strum of G. To make this sound good as well, you'll notice that I didn't rush strumming. I, I strummed nice and steady. So try not to speed up or slow down as you progress through the rhythm study. Try to keep at a nice, even speed. You'll notice I wasn't strumming very quickly. I wasn't trying to do this. I wasn't doing that. I was strumming nice and steadily. Okay, you'll see um, a, on the rhythm study, okay, it says moderate tempo. And what that means is that you're playing, not you're not playing slowly, but you're not playing too quickly either. You're playing somewhere in between. So that's why I was playing nice and steadily, okay? So you're probably fine to begin with. It takes you a little while to move between the chords. It'll take you a little bit of practice to move, especially between G and A minor. But just keep practicing. And if you each week as you practice this, if the gaps between your chord changes get that little bit smaller, then you know that you're progressing and you're doing well. So um, that's everything for rhythm study number one, and I'll see you in our next Zoom lesson. Take care. <laughs>